Hello friends, welcome back to the kennels, the Handmaster Estate. Things seem to be going too well to be true. Um, they really do. Uh, it's basically gone off without a hitch so far. We didn't find too many Handmasters initially, but oh wow, we've got two more in the stagecoach waiting for us. So it looks like we're really well and truly off to a good start here. We've got... Okay, Wayne. We've got uh, we've got four Handmasters here. We've got three more Handmasters here. We could lose three of these and still have a team. So you know what? I think we're going to... Take everyone out here. I think I'm going to um, not take Surdival for a while. I think it's kind of, I don't want to say cheating, but it may be a little bit against the spirit of the challenge to be taking a level 4 character into Apprentice Dungeons now that I don't have to. Um, but we should look at upgrading some more of this stuff when we need to. Let's look at the Nomad Wagon. Because I really want some of these Master trinkets, and obviously I'm going to need at least four copies of all the good ones. So we should... Idle, amulet, or yeah, you know what? I'm going to do it. The simplest object. This is a ballsy play, <laughs> but we've got so much gold. We're, we're fine for crests. Crests are the easiest one to come across, obviously. You know, I think it's probably worth it. I think it's probably worth upgrading the Nomad Wagon, but you know what? Let's do an actual dungeon. That's really compelling. Um, although the torch isn't going to be that low. Maybe I want to do another boss. The boss last time was awesome. It went really, really well. Uh, that's not bad. These class trinkets are obviously useless. Um, the swine. The swine isn't too bad because it can just be marked and, and beaten down. So let's do it. Okay, so I think Grimot was in one. Lonkato was in two. Brebeuf was in four. Um, because they've got skills unlocked that make them better in those positions. Uh, like Blackjack, for example. Oh, Hound's Rush? Uh, maybe he wasn't in rank one. He's going to take Target Whistle. Target Whistle is going to be important anyway. And uh, Mobonk. Who is Mobonk? He's got Hound Rush, Target Whistle, Cry Havoc, and Guard Dog. That's pretty good, actually. Um, maybe I want to take off Cry Havoc and replace it with Blackjack. But he can go in the position in position two, yes. I think the hardest part of this challenge is going to be just keeping track of who's got what skills. Maybe I should rename them um, to say what rank they're best in. I don't think it's going to be a huge problem, though. Because they can just swap around their skills. It's not a problem. Um, who's good in the Warrens? Well, he's good in the Warrens. Fated and balanced. Pretty good. I don't want to min-max my quirks too much at the moment. I will need to later on. Um, for now, let's just make sure we've got everything... Uh, Yes, everything upgraded. So Grimalt has Harry Whistle, Guard, and Blackjack. Longkato, uh, Rush, Whistle, Havoc, and Wounds. Does he want Wounds? Yeah. I think that's probably better than Guard Dog, because we haven't got a healer, obviously. Rebirth. One, two, three, and five. That's a better way of doing it. One, two, three, five. Beautiful. That's move on. Okay. So I'm a little bit more cocky now. Um, against the Necromancer Apprentice, I was, like, real scared. <laughs> Honestly. Um, yes, your trinkets can come off. There we go. Yeah, so against the... Um, what am I trying to say here? Against the Necromancer Apprentice, I was kind of worried. Because uh, I was very aware that if we, if we lose, then that's it. Game over. I don't think we're going to lose against the Swine Prince. Um, it could happen. Obviously, it could happen. I'm not trying to claim that it could not. <laughs> Jesus, this is terrible. Um, yeah, okay, that'll do. Uh, I'm not trying to claim that we couldn't lose. Obviously, we could lose. But we would still have three Houndmasters, even if all four of them died. And I don't think we're going to get four deaths here. Those from beyond require a physical vessel if they are to make the crossing into our reality. The timing of the chance is imperative. Without the proper utterances at precise intervals, the process can fail spectacularly. Sorry, it took me a few seconds to realise there I was talking over Wayne March. Okay, so the Swine Prince is going to be up here. 
he's always in the, well, all bosses are always in the furthest possible room. 80, 90, 190. We're going to go with 90. We're going to go with 90 for the stress reduction. Cool beans. We'll camp as close to the boss as possible, I think. But if we need healing, we need healing. I'm not too proud to, to camp early if need be. Right. Uh, who's got the best damage potential? It's probably rank 2. That's something I'm going to need to think about. Uh, no, is he stunning? So it's probably rank 3. Or maybe rank 4, actually. Yeah, he's got Rush and Harry. Okay. That is a damage buff, right? Yeah, that's a damage buff. Awesome. Give me some scouting, boys. No, that's okay, T. We'll go here. No fights yet. You may have noticed I'm deliberately avoiding them. Is the right, I really need scouting here. This needs to be a thing that happens. Yeah! We may not have to have any fights until we actually fight the boss. That would be hilarious. I don't think that's ever happened before to me. Of course, that also means we don't get much treasure, but I'm not too worried about gold. As long as your dudes don't die, you're going to get some gold. Oh, 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 let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back and get the secret room. We'll have to dump some curios. That's not really a problem. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted and purpose is made clear. Uh, maybe I'm using the torches too much. Maybe I'm putting too much stock in that. Okay, yeah, Junior's head. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Junior's head is, is fine. It's not very good in a run like this, but that's okay. It might be worth uh, might be worth taking on... It's not. The 20% stress is too much. Um, I think I'm probably going to end up just selling that, which is kind of a shame, but, it, you know, shit happens. Was hoping, obviously, for Dismas's head. Okay. Great. You've ruined my plan, bro. My plan was to go and fight this, backtrack, then come back and, um, or rather than camp, and then come back and get the damage buff on the way through. Didn't really work like that. So now I'm going to have to backtrack anyway. This is crazy, though. We've only been in the dungeon for, like, four minutes. Are you dead now? You are not dead yet. Their formation is broken. Um, hmm. Get the dodge buff. Great. That's a lot of use to a lot of people. Was hoping for a crit heal, so we might get some stress relief, but apparently not. Let's just kill it. Another abomination. Cleansed Maybe I should have just done that to begin with. We're going to get a little bit of stress here from the backtrack, but there's not really a lot I can do about that. My plan was solid gold, but unfortunately did not pay off. Circle in the dark. The battle okay, so as I've mentioned before, Houndmaster camping skills are good, but only in terms of utility. They don't have any camp... Um, what am I trying to say? They don't have any uh, camping skills which are particularly useful for combat. So we've got less chance of party being surprised, prevents nighttime ambush, that's awesome. More scouting is meaningless right now. Therapy dog is real good. Therapy dog is real good. And we'll try and reduce his stress a little bit in the future. Minus 35% stress is actually pretty great. Uh, we're not going to get the nighttime ambush. The match is struck. A blaze that's fine. Star is born. Am I disappointed with how that went? Yeah, I am a little bit. But that's not the Houndmaster's one weakness, is that their camping skills aren't great for um, for combat. They're just good for utility. And they are great for utility. You probably only need one Houndmaster, though. If I had to guess, I'd probably say just take one. You don't need seven Houndmasters. I'm gonna stun you. I'm gonna stun the fuck out of you. Yeah, boy. Deal with it. Oh. So the guys in the front have no way of healing themselves. That's um, 
That's worth remembering. Because <laughs> that might be a problem later on. In fact, I would imagine that it probably will be a problem later on. Can I stun you? Is it worth it? Yeah, it's worth it. In that case, I think I go for a Hans Harry here. Get the bleed on the swine friend, anyway. Swine chopper. Great. Yeah, no worries. He hasn't got Hans Harry. I'm going to guard the guy in the front. At least he's got the dodge buff. I mean, the dodge tanking stuff is, is fine. I think it can be a little bit underwhelming. That was a misclick, by the way. I, I, I thought it was this dude, so I thought I had Hans Harry. That was what I meant to do. So we're not doing brilliantly for health right now. Maybe if he gets another turn, he'll be able to um, he'll be able to heal himself. That would be nice. Oh, fantastic! Self heal for six. That's fine. I don't think the guy in the front has. Um, I don't. Yeah, I don't think rank one has the self heal anyway. I mean, obviously he doesn't. Okay, HP is not terrible. So we've got how many marks have we got? We've got one, two. Three marks, that's pretty solid. Obviously, we only need one. Let's kill the swine. Okay, so... Obviously, the strategy for this fight is you nuke down the swine prince and you never touch Wilbur. You can stun the swine... No, you can stun the swine prince. Is it worth it? No, I'm just going to mark it. And then just try and nuke him down. That's going to be my strategy for a lot of bosses, so get used to that one. Um, he has no bleed resist, no dodge, no protection, so it should be a, just a matter of time. Oh yeah, he's also a beast. should be just a matter of time before Hound's Rush destroys him utterly. And it seems to be going pretty well, honestly. So I probably want to guard. Do I want to guard or do I, do I want to just nuke him? Well, I, can't, I don't have an option with rank 3. Can I stun it? Um, 144%. Yeah, I'll stun it. Ah, uh, well. You get what you pay for. He's bleeding quite a lot. <laughs> That's pretty good. Um, hmm. I don't know if I can... I don't think it's worth it. I think in higher iterations of the same dungeon, it will be worth it. But I think my best bet here is just to nuke him down. See, because that's the damage there is nothing, really. Um, compared to the amount of damage I'm doing to him, I think that's fine. I'll try and stun him again. 144% off oh, a crit, though. And it stunned him. Nice. Nice. I don't, know, I don't know if crits have a higher chance to stun. If you get like a flat plus 20% stun chance um, on a crit. I'm sure someone could set me right on that. Okay, so he's dead now. Yep, he's dead. Wilbur will need to die. But that shouldn't be a problem. Stop squealing. That's a stress attack, right? Is that a stress attack or a stun? It's a stun. Great. Um, thanks. Yeah, thank, thank you. Fantastic. So Wilbur gets a... Are you just stun locking me? Okay. <laughs> I didn't know if it was like a guaranteed stun and I'd fuck something up or something. No, okay, we'll we'll target whistle that and we'll just we'll just nuke him down. Is it was it worth marking him? He's got seventeen health. Uh, I think statistically it wasn't worth marking him, no. <laughs> ah well. We have fun here. Yeah, how do you like it, Wilbur? You little bitch. Alright. No need to be a smart ass. You know what? I'm glad you lived to be stunned. Fuck you, Wilbur. Oh. Fuck everything. I've got to take ownership of that, right? There's no possible way I can blame that on anything. No? If you think of anything that I can use to blame that on, on then just fucking keep it to yourself, alright? 
I don't need your help. We got the legendary bracer. It's not very good. <laughs> that speed downgrade is crippling. The extra stress certainly isn't going to help very much. But the damage is fine. Weapon Tinker could help out. Plus two speed is really good. Demonomania is like, eh. It's not that bad, right? I don't think it's that bad. Let me share with you the terrible one. Okay, so we've got a quarter of an hour. Quarter of an hour through. We've got time for a short one. Okay, we've got our eighth handmaster. That's good because it means we can. If we do have like an entire party wipe, we're gonna be fine, dog. And bloodshed. Right. No one is actually that stressed out, which is great. I think I'm just gonna take these guys again. Um, obviously, I don't want the holy orders. Don't really want the book of sanity. Don't want the gunslingers buckle. I don't want any of this shit. <laughs> um, I'm not going to use any of these. Is there just a, it's just a, yeah. is there just a short one? Yeah, short one. Okay, cool beans. Do I want to get rid of any of this stuff? Yeah, okay. Sort by character class restriction. I'm just going to get rid of everything that I don't want right now. Yeah, I'm never going to use it. Realistically, I'm never going to use Junior's head. Oh, but you know what? I should have kept it, because I think now it's got more of a chance to show up in secret rooms instead of a trapezohedron, and the trapezohedron sells for a lot more. Yeah, I think I done fucked that one up. Um, Bleedstone might actually be useful. Bleedstone might actually be useful. So might the Stunstone, right. Um, plus 2% crit and plus 5 dodge is okay. 40% stun skill chance. I probably wasn't using that, and the minus 1 speed is nasty. Does he have Hound's Harry? He does not have hands, Harry. This is the second slot, right? This is second slot. So why is he using Cry Havoc? Jesus Christ. Uh, oh, who even was it? Yeah, this is where the problems come in, right? His name was Mubonk. All right, okay. I'll take him to the guild. And we'll unlock hands, Harry. Um, he shouldn't be using Cry Havoc. Target Whistle and Blackjack. Okay, so everyone can mark, which I think is important. Um, and now he can have the bleed stone because Hounds Harry is a great bleed skill. Where were we going? I think we were going to the Warrens. Am I correct in thinking that? I am going to upgrade everything. I think it's worth it at this point. We've got 83,000 gold, which is awesome. Oh, it hurts the... Okay, we, we just lost like, what was it, 15,000 gold, something like that. And we upgraded the Nomad Wagon last time, let's check that out. Antiquarian, Jester, Leper, Abomination, Bleed Resist, eh. Ah, uh, see, I want that, but at the same time, my torch isn't going to be that low. No, it, it's common, it shows up all the time. We do see it every, like, all the time, so well, let's just go, I guess. Um, yeah, I was, I was, it was the wheels. Okay, the wheel is fine, right, it's fine. We'll take one of these, one of these. Take no chances on the supplies, particularly shovels. And let's go, boys. And 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 girls, obviously. You don't exclude anyone. I knew all these Explore ninety percent of rooms. Um, that's an awkward layer. No one's gonna say that's not an awkward layer. Because it is an awkward layer. It's not great, loot-wise. We've had better. I'm not ashamed to say it, I'm not afraid to say it. Just need to kill these guys. I just need to kill these guys. Thank you! Lonkato, have a raise, man. You were listening. Awesome. And he did bleed. Um, I'll take the stun. Frontline Houndmaster is, isn't that useful. Um, you can stun the front lines, but that's about it. Not that that's bad. Ideally, you'd want to stun the back lines. More often than not. They've got low speed, so I don't think they're going to get a look in. Awesome! Why can't more things go like that? Um, hmm, I can't remember. I think this is just you take it or leave it, right? Let's take it. Alright, well that's like... Well 
real good. Um, I probably I don't want the blight. That's that's seven hundred and fifty gold, right? Maximum in that stack. Let's leave it, and also let's leave the bandages, because I have no self control. I don't know, maybe that was wrong. I think money's not going to be a problem, as we've been through ma many, many times. So maybe I shouldn't be, uh, Waiting to be spent. losing this stuff for it. Inventory space is just awful, though. Um, I don't really need the food. It's a short mission. I've got enough food. That'll do. 90, 110. Uh, I'll take the 90. Take the 10% chance. Yep, okay. Awesome. So we're going to have to go in both of these directions, but we don't have to go left here, which is just as well. Nice. So there's no fights over here until we get up here, um, and maybe not even then. Great, good torch. 10 out of 10. Wood torch again. <sighs> oh, I'm yawning now, my word. I do apologise. Been at work all day and now I'm coming home and recording Darkest Dungeon and it's all just catching up to me, you know? Ah, we got some scouting. Sick. Ah, there's two fights up here. Hmm. We definitely have to go to either this room or this room. We'll just go to this room. We'll do the battle. It's not a problem. Nature herself. Victim to the spreading corruption. Malformed with misintent. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just do it. We'll just do the fight, man. This is... Ah, oh, thanks, yeah. Okay, you got lucky that time, mister. You don't want to keep doing that. You're going to get some fucking syphilis or something. Is syphilis still in this game? I think syphilis is still in this game. I haven't seen it in a while, though. Okay, give me more music boxes. I like you. You, you give me things. I don't like the way the dogs keep clipping behind each other. Watch this dog's head, man. It just clips straight behind the other one. Um, we need to just kill the hound, not the hound master, the madman. He is now dead. I'm sure I heard the word serious and real pain then. I don't know. I'm starting to decipher this stuff, you know. I'm going to hound Harry. No, I'm not. He's already dead. Um, uh, yes, I am, though. I think that was correct by, like, chance alone. However, this is likely to kill one of them. This is likely to kill this dude. Ooh. Yeah, they're bleeding shitloads now, boys. Last one, kill all three of them. Yeah, they are dead now. We have killed them. Got high speed. They're all just going to die one after the other. Oh, I mean, you keep making me do shit. All of these, uh, all my Houndmasters have quite high speed, I think. These nightmarish creatures can be felt. Fuck it. They can be seen. <laughs> speed 9956. Um, but they've both got trinkets that reduce their speed. That's pretty good, right? It's not bad. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Right, let's let's kill you. Destroy. Oh, Longkato, he keeps just listening, man. Oh, this is amazing. This is like so far, this is pretty much easier than any other run of Darkest Dungeon I've ever done. The only thing that's putting me off is this like awkward human centipede of dogs that's going on here. I don't like it at all. I guess that wouldn't be a human centipede. That'd be like a canine centipede. I'm going to stop with that train of, you know, thought. <laughs> I'll just mark it. Probably should have done that off the bat. Oh, that looked amazing. Dude, I love just having a guy who can point at things. In fact, I love having four guys who can point at things. These dog treats are just not worth it for me right now. I probably want to keep four of them so that I can just have like one really easy fight. 
Do I want those crests? Uh, yeah, I want those crests. I don't really care about the torchlight. That sound you may or may not be able to hear in the background is my cat pawing furiously at his litter tray. My apologies if, if that's audible to you. It's clean, I promise. I clean it regularly. I know people on the internet can get very, uh, very up in arms when, uh, whenever there's an animal on a on a video that it's, it's somehow being mistreated. I think my cat has a pretty good life. Isn't that right? Oh, he's camera shy. So we've only got one more fight actually, just up here, and there is treasure available. Treasure is available. Oh, we haven't got any torches. Um, yes. I'll take the 90 again, man. We really need that stress reduction. It is awesome. Well, you think you're about to find out, mate? That, that worries me, though. I didn't realise he had Curious. He has got Curious. Oh, and it's it's permanent. Um, hmm. I didn't really have the opportunity to take off uh, take off negative quirks before because I didn't have enough handmasters to afford any of them a week off. Now I do. I think when we get back, I'm gonna look at some of that stuff. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm gonna look at taking off some negative quirks. Uh, I don't think anyone's diseased, which is good. We haven't been to the Warrens that much. Can I just kill you? Yeah, apparently I can. It's Longato again. He's just amazing. This man is my friend. Rebuff, uh, not so much. Mobonk. Yeah, all right. We can be mates. Let's do it. It's gonna stun you. 100% chance should be. Oh yes. So no one's marked. No one's. Uh, no one's going to get rend the marked. Rended the mark. I think that's probably the way you uh, you resolve that. No one's going to get rendered the mark. I can't believe how easy this run is so far. I, I thought I was going to be really struggling even initially, but I just haven't run into any problems at all so far. I've killed the first two bosses. Obviously, it's like super early days. I mean. You know, we're, we're still in novice dungeons. We haven't even got enough dudes to do one veteran dungeon. But, you know, so far it's it's just as easy as a regular run. And look, we've done it. This is week 20. And we've just succeeded. We've had no, we haven't had no problems yet. Famous last words, I know. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> These treats, man. I'm so sorry. Wow, I mean, it went real well, you know. Paths and roads bring soldiers and supplies. Let them arrive on Harried. I know, I, pride comes before fall, you know. Overconfidence, etc., etc. But it's, it's, it's going real well. Okay, well, we're approaching the half hour mark, which is like ideal. Um, but I'm going to look through some negative quirks. I, t I, I, I give no shit. We're going to uh, we're going to look through some negative quirks. See what we can take off. Um... <laughs> uh, in that case, we should upgrade this a little bit first. That seems good. Curious methodologies and apparatus can calm even the most tormented. I think that's important. I think it's important enough. Uh, but we don't <laughs> we don't have any patient cells. Okay. Oops. We'll just trade in some um, some portraits for crests. The front That's fine. Of this war is okay. Not a dungeon, but rather Wait, what? Inside the mind. Oh yeah, sure, great, fantastic. <laughs> okay, there's not a lot I can do about that. What have you got? Diana, Lagophobia, Paranormal, Plutomania, Shocker. Um, where's Curious? I'll, I'll cure Curious. I think it's really important to do that. Uh, no one's diseased. Awesome. Well, we'll check the stagecoach at the beginning of the next episode, but thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you then.